Hey guys, it's Anwar right here, iPad Mini 3 Unboxing. Let's get to it. So this is the uh, third generation iPad Mini that uh, Apple just announced at their October event alongside with the uh, new iPad Air 2, 5K Retina, iMac which is really really good. It's very impressive but um, that price point, yeah it's, it's okay, it's not... But for me, I have no use, so I can't get that, sorry. Okay, so um, iPad mini 3rd generation. Um, it's basically the same as the 1st uh, and 2nd generation. So let's look around the box on the front. You can see the side of this thing. On the iPad Air 2, it also has the almost the same image. And then it just shows off how thin it really is. And the bottom is, and the size now, it says iPad mini. And I believe this words right here, the colors of the uh, printing um, is, is depend, depends on what color you get. Um, the one I have here is just a base model, 16GB uh, Wi-Fi um, in silver. So at the back it says Wi-Fi 16GB, all that stuff. So let's bring on my, my knife here, then let's cut open the box. There you go. It's the same box. Let's just slowly lift up the, uh, the cover itself. So to be honest though, I'm not entirely sure I like this thing. There it is. We'll get back to that in a second. So it's basically the same inside. You got the uh, paperwork with uh, some big uh, Apple stickers. Very really nice. Um, just put that aside. This is the uh, lightning cable and the power brick. Uh, they are meant for iPads. So that's it. Um, like most tablets on all iPads, it doesn't come with any ear pods, earphones, and all that stuff. But why would you need that? So here's the uh, the device itself. Basically, I'm kind of disappointed um, because Apple doesn't really do much to it. It's basically the same thing that you get from the first generation. Basically, except for the Retina display and this is new for third generation, the Touch ID. So let's look around the iPad itself. So um, first impression, first impression, it looks basically just like the first generation iPad mini seriously that's 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 no difference here except for the touch id which is uh this at least on the third generation it is uh, easily distinguishable as a third gen on the second gen you have to turn on screen to show that it is a uh, second generation so on top here we have the 1.2 megapixel uh, facetime camera with uh, it's, it's okay, it's, it's fine. The camera itself is, is okay, quite okay quality. Um, the screen right here is 7.9 inch. Um, of course, uh, with Retina display, uh, 226 pixel per inch with IPS technology in it. So the colors are vibrant, very good. Bottom right here is your home button with a touch ID sensor in it. Same like the iPhone 5S and iPhone 6, 6 Plus. On the left hand side, there's nothing. On the bottom, you have the two speakers and the lightning connector. On the right hand side, you have the volume rocker up and down and switch right here for the mute, rotation, all that stuff. Then on top right here, you have the power button. You got microphone, dual microphone right here and 3.5mm headphone jack on the back here is a 5 megapixel camera it's basically the same as the uh, second generation or probably the first one and then because it's a Wi-Fi model it doesn't have some kind of black bar right here Apple logo in uh, in Chrome yeah it's like it's the Apple logo is literally like a mirror and you got iPad branding all that stuff right here so let's just turn this sucker up 
hope there's some kind of juice in there because usually Apple products come with a uh, full juice full battery so this is a Wi-Fi this is just a Wi-Fi model only um, it, it, it only weighs 0.73 pounds and uh, Wi-Fi L2 11 ABGN dual channel MIMO and believe it or not you can actually use Apple ID with this thing but I don't really see I think that's good for uh, if you want to purchase stuff on right on the type tablet itself you can't actually take it to a retail store or anything and just use NFC because this thing doesn't have NFC you can only use apps only and then you can use Apple Pay to pay in apps as I said just now touch ID sensor which is new for the uh, third generation um, inside it's used packing a uh, A7 A7 uh, processor is same as second generation and uh, M7 motion co-processor that's what they call it so let's just set this thing up alright sorry for a jump cut I just realized you can't see what's on the screen with the sun right there so I have to shift to my table it's a bit messy so I do apologize for this so um but this is the only place that we can get a good look at the iPad mini itself was in there so basically if you are familiar with iOS it's basically just the same same thing from what you get from your iPad iPhone iPod touch except it's slightly bigger you can use it in different ways as usual yeah, um, it comes with iOS 8 which is surprising because Apple announced iOS 8.1 at the same time they um, they announced this iPad mini so I was expecting I always 8.1 in here so there's no I haven't signed to my iCloud yet but there's no um, Apple Pay right here that's is the iOS 8.1 which I'm not sure if I um, uninstalled it or not so iOS 8 you have continuity you have Apple Pay you have almost everything right here so this is the uh, unboxing of an iPad mini and I hope you like it, subscribe it to my channel for more videos like this, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.